moment I'm working on a graphic novel about the actor Roddy McDowell from Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes is my favourite movie of all time because it's awesome. This one here is called The Burtons and it's about 70 pages of one argument. It's about Roddy and his partner going to visit uh, Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor, but it's really about the fact that Roddy doesn't spend enough time in his own relationship because he's too busy worrying about other people. There's one that I drew called Intimacy, which is just Roddy and John hanging around at their house talking about stuff. The Cleopatra issue was all about the breakdown of Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor and their respective relationships while they were getting together, and Roddy, who was friends with everyone, playing Piggy in the middle. Both of the stories are about the stuff that's not in the movies and it's not in the magazines. It's just uh, people having coffees or lying in bed together or fighting about really mundane stuff, like who's going to take care of the bills. Um, it's a side of Hollywood which is not often explored. I got totally obsessed with celebrities, I think, when I was a little girl. I didn't know that I was obsessed with celebrities then. I just thought that I was in love with Jonathan Brandis, um, who was who played Lucas on Sequest, and he had the talking dolphin. When I got older, it started to dawn on me that um, I didn't want to participate in a, a system which was essentially marketing to me. But I just couldn't get over celebrities and stars, and I couldn't get over wanting to know about Tom Cruise. And I thought that maybe there was something to be studied there because obviously a lot of people in the world feel the same way because we keep getting these new weeklies and Hollywood famous magazines or what have you. Um, Roddy's film companion is all drawn on A3 paper, which is then reduced to a comic book, which is this size. So that's A5. I right. pencil in all the frames and I ink over them with a dip pen. And then I use a series of brushes to put in black tones and a bunch of moody, watery greys. Shit gets everywhere. I get crap all over my fingers. I get ink on my face. There's ink on the floor. It's not a clean occupation. There's Roddy and his partner um, at the time, um, John Belver, who was a photographer and bit part actor. They really, really were together, um, but very few details are known about the relationship, so a lot are made up and inferred by me. <laughs> I'm Robin's soon-to-be husband, and in the comic, I'm John. So for anyone Aww. that's watching, um, just, ju ju just to fuck with her, um, I'm John and she's Roddy and it's quite obvious, so you can, you can make a nice line of connection there between those things. John says, you can make fun of me if you like, but I prefer if you took me seriously. <laughs> that's such a rigid line, man, it's hilarious. I don't believe that you would find an artist alive that didn't use their own relationship to some extent, um, basically because it's what you've got to go on and it's your judge for everything. The comic book beforehand, Robin thought that she was presenting a very even-handed picture and it was autobiographical, and I started getting people telling me I was a prick in the street. They were joking. With the new one, I'm at least happy that she's masked it behind um, two gay men, which um, is good. I can't imagine an artistic life without him. Project I'm doing, I'm contributing to uh, something in the Fringe Festival called Bottled S Words. Um, there are about 20 artists involved, some of whom I know and some I've never met before, but it'll be a great opportunity to do something completely different. Every single artist will be given a clear green bottle with a big orange label on it. Each of us will put something inside and it can be a drawing or it can be poetry, it can be anything. These bottles will be strategically hidden by the artists in places where fringe events will be taking place so that fringe audiences will get the chance to suss them out and find them and then keep the contents. I hope that I can make that person laugh when they find it. I think 
think I would be completely useless as a celebrity. I've never really wanted to be one, but I have always wanted art notoriety, which is kind of like fame.